Hello and welcome, my expats, to the city of Lazogan. As ex as usual, we're going to talk about our heroes real quick. I'm going to be using Azra today, actually. A little bit of a surprise for us. Tower is still standard and usual. You know, you know, you gotta got to do what you got to do, man. Upgrades. we got everything sort of set up right here as usual. Lots of soul crap and uh, a little bit of everything else kind of mixed together. Um, I'm kind of excited to get the Pit Lord pretty soon. You know, I think we got to wait maybe one, maybe two more levels. You know, if we get three every single time, that's okay. And we got this lame, lame sauce man right here. I don't even remember the heck his name. You know, like what, what is was he? What is his name? I can't even click on him. That's kind of lame. I want to see how much health he has, at least technically. So, uh, one of the reasons why I picked her though is because she's fast. Uh, I can I can zoom back and forth between two areas if I really need to. If you look at the amount of tower, uh, you know, places that you can actually put things, it's a little bit on the low side especially in the back of the map over here. And we're not going to be going for any furnaces today. Ooh, that's going to make it rough, right? Well, it is. It is going to make it rough. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop out a quick Orc Warrior's Den to start. Now, I'm going to be changing these out later on, but for now, we're going to do an Orc Warrior's Den. We're going to put them as far up as we possibly can on both sides. Uh, we're going to be going for an uh, Spectre's Mausoleum and a... Uh, bone flare, and we're do the exact same thing on the other side. Spectre's mausoleum. We'll do Spectre's mausoleum here, and we'll do the bone crusher, bone flingers here, and we're already ready to go, my friends. Now, what you can do is the nice thing about her on this map is that she can just sit kind of on the side here and just shoot people if you want to. So feel free to just shoot some people from a distance. She's not super powerful. In fact, she's only level 6 at this point, so she's not going to be doing mad damage or anything like that. But she's got her decent level ability. She's got this thing right here, which can, uh, I wouldn't say annihilate people, but do a pretty good amount of damage on a lot of these guys. What we're going to do is we're going to soul crush and we're going to go to the next wave already. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get 4th uh, tier on uh, both of these guys. Like that. Like that. And we can just teleport Azra as we need her. Now, obviously, there's going to be some strong little bulldogs coming in the bottom here, man. I feel a little sad killing doggers, don't you? I don't really, I don't really want to have to kill those guys. But, um, gotta see if you have to, you have to, right? That's just the way the world works at this point. So what happens is, is this guy's going to give uh, uh, random peeps some shields every once in a while. Uh, so we got some footmen, recruitment, some watchdogs coming in. They're going to, you know, kind of mix up their paths this time. Uh, in fact, they're going to mix up their paths all over the place, all day today. It's not going to be consistent whatsoever, and that's why you're going to get both sides upgraded pretty high. And we're going to go for a good amount of stalling power, actually. We're going to be going for gargoyles. I'm talking gargoyles on both sides here, not just one side. You can see Azra again. We used up her power. We're going to switch her over to the other side. And that's why I like her for this map, especially. Um, she's not good at stalling or anything like that, but she's good at she's good at just keeping people, uh, keeping people occupado. Keeping some people's dead. Here we go. We're going to move her back as we need to. She's got her special shield if you really want to over here. We can always upgrade these guys and get some gargoyles and crap. But we got a big soul crusher ready to go. And we're going to go into the next wave right here. This time we've got a gargoyle ready. Yeah, son. And once we get it up, man, we're talking about not just one gargoyle, not just two gargoyles. We're talking about having people on our side as well possess those guys. Here's our second gargoyle already. Ooh, look at this, though. We got some uh, tricky mofos coming in here. They got some range on us. We're going to move these guys back just a little bit. Pop some peeps on them once they're getting in range. And uh, that's how you got to take them down. You know, move, do a little bit of micro. It's okay. M move some peeps around if you need. So we got a big jumble of people right here. We're going to go like that, and we're going to go like this. We got some flying units coming in, though. Some hunting eagles already. So I'm actually going to wait a little bit. The hunting eagles are one of the only units I'm actually afraid of sneaking through my defense, you know? I, I have a lot of stalling power with my orcs and my gargoyles. So, yeah, I mean, you got to take them down somehow, right? Here's our second gargoyle, and we just pop them on top. All right. There we go. And we'll just wait it out. No free gold this time. It's okay. Hunting eagles, fast! And this is where Azra can also come into play, because she can end up taking down the hunting eagles pretty easily. You know, a few arrows... Few arrows to the to the knee right there, but boom, they did. So one thing that I've definitely been focusing on so far is most definitely uh, the magic, as you guys can probably tell. Oh no, they're gonna pour stuff on my peeps! No, dodge it, gargoyles, dodge it! Ah! Oh! No, honestly, I really don't care if people die, like especially against hunting eagles and stuff like that. Look at this tankiness right here. We're gonna go splash, splash it on them. And I'm going to end up just killing her with some uh, regular reinforcement guys over here. Move Azra back over to the other side once this hunting eagle's dead. And there we go, he's dead. 
Slot him in. And oh yeah, I forgot the house. He eats people. Okay, yeah, I forgot about that. The house, he does. He, he eats peeps. I'm, I'm not messing around with that, guys. So we're going to take people over again. We're going to possess them. I'm not going to go to the triple possess just yet. Just a single possess. I'm okay with that. And we can move these guys back in action. Move those gargoyles in. Azra, she's she's dying. She's dying. She's level 7, though. That's awesome. So here we go. We're going to poison and soul crush. And we're going to get ready for the next wave over here. It's all coming down on the bottom here with a new enemy coming in here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Gargoyles, man. Got to move you guys around a little bit more than I want to. Here we go. Um, so here he is. Here he is. He's the arcane magic. He's got extreme magic resistance. So this is where it, the, the bone flingers come in. And Azra too. Azra's pretty solid against these guys. It's a good amount of damage. You could poison him and stuff. I think we're to wait for the second one, though. Um, trying to keep people in range here. It's not really working out perfectly. Uh, we'll just use it. There's a big bundle. Bundle of them. No, Azra, you're supposed to be, supposed to be shooting peoples. Here we go. We're going to get Bone Flingers up. And here we go. We got a house on the top over here. He's coming to life. He's trying to take us down, but honestly, they suck. 30 to 60 attack, but Gargoyles, they got these two guys covered for sure. Nobody's getting through on our, our side here. So we're going to go for... Oh, man. He's going to shield him. Pooh. Shielded through our entire Soul Crusher right there. What do we got coming out, though? Some Priests and some Footmen and some Griffin Bombardiers, though. But I'm ready. We got the extra gold ready. Now around, now this time around, we can go for some extra bone flingers up on the top here. We got a bone to pick with you. With you. We're gonna take it down. Oh, look at this bad boy, man. The arcade magic. He's going to town on us. But it doesn't matter. We got it. Oh, we got him on our team now. <laughs> That's the way I do it. So we're gonna move these guys back just a little baby bit. I'm kind of hoping that the, the, the spoon lands on the, uh, the orcs instead of the gargoyles. You know, that's fine by me. Here we go. We got a big chunk of guys right there. Going to take down the Griffin Bombardier, hopefully, with that poison. And uh, we're going all the way up to the third tier here. Wonderful. So we got a good Soul Crusher right here. Let's just do it in the range of enough guys for me to think it's worthwhile. And I think we're ready for the next wave already. There's going to be some... Uh, everybody's going to go down to the bottom this time around. So we're ready to go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to max out most of my towers down here, guys. That's my plan. So here we go. We're going to just poison right away. These guys up a little bit. The gargoyles are actually just about dead here, so that's when it gets a little bit spicy. I'm going to go for a second. Believe it or not, a second. Mausoleum. My favorite tower in the game. Oh, he's just eating my guys. All right, so the gargoyles in the wrong spot for now. You can always move them back, but for now, just, just move them back until you actually... Uh, need to use them. Alright, these guys are up to third tier finally. And I'm going to stay away from Bonum for a little bit, but I might end up popping some Bonum action in here in a little while. Alright, big... Oh, yeah! There we go! Get them taken care of! Gargoyles actually going to take a lot of the damage right there. They did finally die, though. And on this side, we're going to go for... Instead of a mausoleum, we're just going to go for a bunch of mage towers and... Uh, uh, bone flingers. Good combo, though. Good combo. So I'm waiting a little. I'm waiting around for a little bit. There's too many. There's just too many guys for me to handle right now. So just wait it out until you're you're feeling safe. There we go. We're gonna get one, two, and all the way up to fourth tier once we finally get it up. Once we finally get 300 gold. So I never read about this guy. The arcane magus, masters of the arcane. They use their raw power inside of them to blast away everyone that dares to defy them. They've got area damage. They can teleport your allies, and they've got high magic resistance. So you definitely got to use the bone flingers here. You're definitely gonna have to use Azra over here, and you're definitely gonna have to, uh, uh, you know, watch out and try and keep your guys not too grouped. Here we go. We get a fourth tier. Oh, stunning my gas, man. I do feel like he causes some 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 uh some hectic stuff over here. It's not exactly easy. You know? So we got a big chunk of guys coming in. Basically try and block the bulldogs. Uh the earlier you can block them the better, so you can get let all your heroes actually attack the flying units here. Wonderful. Alright, so we got a big chunk of guys right here. We're gonna soul crush. I don't know if I'm gonna set up the next wave early though. I'm gonna wait just a few seconds. Um, yeah, you know what? I think I'm okay. Let's move Azra down to the bottom, and I think we're ready. Uh, everybody's coming up the top this time. 
So let's get uh, let's get a bone flinger down here. There is there's a good combination of different units coming in, and we're gonna double bone triple bone fling that up in the middle path. That's like my uh, you know if I have to go for certain abilities, it's one of the cheapest ones in the game, and it's one of the most consistent ones in the game. So I always go for it. And we got another house coming in on the bottom, the golem house. He's only got two thousand uh, health though. He's really not that bad, especially with some gargoyles in the way, you know. I, even the first house wasn't that bad. A gargoyle can, like, take the entirety of it. So there you go. You can finally see he's... He doesn't just teleport, like, a single unit. He can teleport groups of units. So watch out for that for sure. Here we go. We're going to poison some of these guys real quick. We might have to drop down some soul-crushing action here against these two magic guys. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. Let's go for a uh, fourth tier here. Yeah, let's just do it. There's two. There's so many guys bundled up over here. Ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. Get them all crushed up right there. And we get some more gargoyle action. <laughs> I love me some gargoyles. Yes, indeedy. So I know it's. Oh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Let's actually let's block this guy. Let's use Asra over here. Let's uh let's get a good uh, poison over here. Kind of early on in the poison action. Got a bundle of them. Oh, they're eating my gargoyles again. <laughs> I don't really like the way they eat my gargoyles. We'll move them up just a little bit to try to keep away from the gargoyle action. All right, and I think I'm ready. Whatever we got, I don't even know. Oh, we got the big boys coming in, the high sorcerers, tricksters that play with magic. They ride huge golems and are able to polymorph their enemies with a flick of the wand. Just a flick. They've got area attack, another area attack enemy. Oh, my God. High armor <gasps> and transform transforms enemies into sheep. So they basically... I, I can't I can't say they can't be blocked, but it's tough to block them. So the best way to deal with these guys is definitely the arcane mages. Uh, yeah, I mean you just that's just the way you got to do it. I gotta poison my gargoyles. I see how it is. I see how it is. Oh, we're gonna poison. Oh, we don't care about the gargoyles. Okay, that's cool. Anyways, if you actually click on this guy, he's got over 2,000 health while on veteran. 60 to 90 attacks. That's not anything to mess around with here, guys. That is a big chunk of attack. You can see he's polymorphing some sheep against me right here. And the weird thing about it is that my sheep, they, when I uh, they turn into sheep, I actually attack them. You know, that's that's sort of weird. You wouldn't expect that to happen, but that is what happens. So anyways, you can tell they're really not that bad by themselves. It's when they come in with groups of other crap coming in. That's when it gets a little bit goofy. Alright, so we're going to poison and soul crush, and we're going to send to the next wave early. We got more of them coming in this time around. Alright, and we're going to go for some more magic up in here, guys. The way I like to do it is I like to put mausoleums sort of closer to the back. I like to use infernal mages closer to the front. I don't mind popping some bone flingers in here and there. You know, those, those guys are fine by me. Every once in a while, feel free to pop those guys in. Oh, Azra's kind of in the middle of a stupid spot. So, let's get rid of that. And we got a ton of money again! Look at that, these guys give bank! Yeah! But Azra, still not dead yet. She's actually level 8. She levels up pretty quickly. Dodge it. She does. She levels up very quickly. Alright, there's a lot of guys on the bottom right now. And they're turning my gargoyles against me. So we're going to poison these these folks. We're going to send Azra back down to the bottom real quick. I don't think they, I don't think our heroes can be polymorphed. I've never had it happen, at least. 666! Six, six, six. You guys see it? It was there for only a second, but it was there. And I think it's Bonum time. Let's put some Bonum action down here. Um, I think he can probably be polymorphed, though, sadly enough. I'm going to go for another Infernal Mage. Footman, Elven Magus, Elven Ranger, no big deal. As far as this one's concerned, we're going for the same thing here, guys. We're going to go for the Infernal Mage all the way upgraded. Yeah, sure, these guys got some low magic resistance. These guys actually have high magic resistance. Those guys are the ones you have to be careful for. The high magic resistance enemies. Even if you accidentally... You know, start shooting them a little bit. It kind of sucks. Like the the amount of tankiness that they can get, how much mu how much uh, basic damage you're gonna you know lose out on here, it can be pretty rough. So anyways, we're gonna we're gonna just pop her over here. We're gonna you know put some people in the way. Actually, I wish that I let them be in range of this thing. Ugh, ugh, ugh. We can just throw some poison on them. The thing I don't mind about the poison is that it comes back so quickly. You know, like, by the time you're like, oh, crap, like, enemies are actually going to sneak through, then you can, uh, you know, do something else here. So here we go, we're going to get uh, high-level magic there. I think we are going to have to go for a bone flare here. Good combo. Good combo. 
And we got a bunch of guys on the screen. We got a big chunk of people right here. We're going to soul crush them. Get rid of the guys that kill your units so everybody else can just be stalled forever. You know, that's a way to play the game. That's the way I like to do it. And we're going to go for a bone him over here as well. So you guys know how I like to deal with my opponents? I bone them hard. All right? I bone them real. I don't, I don't, no, I don't play soft with those guys. You go big or you go home. And I use, I use my biggest boy I got. I bone them. All right? We're ready for the next wave already. We got high sorcerers. Ooh, we got some uh, griffin bombardiers coming down to the bottom tier, though. We're definitely going to have to move Asper down here. And I've actually got almost all of my tower slots um, maxed out to what I normally get them up to first. We've got one more tower here that I can build, and I think I'm probably going to go for... Probably just going to go for another one of these uh, Infernal Mages, you know? So, I don't know. Does it, is it a full shield? I think it's probably one of those shields where it shields a certain amount of health. It shields either like 300 or 400 health or something like that, and then you could finally start damaging them over here. So here we go, we got a, a, a house coming in. Ooh, a house griffin combo. That can be pretty devastating here, guys. But, oh, we got a house on our team. Oh, look at that. Can you believe it? All right, we're gonna. Oh, I never even got my second gargoyle up here, dude. I totally lied. I got so much stuff I can spend money on over here. Double gargoyles. Um, we can get. Uh, we're getting polymorph, but that's okay. We can get. Uh, we can take people over again. I, you know, if I could take over some freaking houses, dude. I mean, what else can you? What's better than taking over a house? You know. Anyways, it may even seem like we're not playing on veteran on uh, this this game mode, but we are. Uh, it's it's honestly pretty simple. Uh, you know, I haven't even really had to use my orcs all that much. In fact, they're almost just like sort of tanking uh, the random potions that he sends out against me. You know, the uh, building potion. So here's the final wave, guys. So we're gonna send it out. We've got a lot of money here. We're gonna spend it up on a couple things. Um, we're going to get the uh, Lava Fissure on all these. We're going to get our last Infernal Mage. Boom, boom, boom. And I still want to get uh, uh, the few upgrades over here for uh, these guys. But actually, see how fast $1,000 goes? I mean, you're used to spending a lot of money very quickly. But... I don't know. It just goes by... Uh, well, I guess you're used to just consistently spending your money. You're not used to saving up $1,000 or whatever. Okay, they're dead, they're dead, they're dead. And as, as usual, man, a good combination is always good. Now, this 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 hero, the enemy hero, doesn't seem all that terrible anymore, does he? He's just like, whatever. Just deal with him. He's aight. He's cool. We could, we could deal. And that looks like it's going to be the end here. we got a few more random uh, uh, high sorcerers coming in. I lied. There's more peeps. There's more peeps. Let's block him in here. Let's get some poison on him. Oh, there's going to be three on top of each other. Let's poison him. Bop him. Okay, we missed one of them. We got a ton of money to work with again. Let's buy Let's buy skellies. This is the point of the game where I, I like to buy the skeletons to just like make sure like nobody's going to sneak through. Like You don't realize how OP those skeletons can be until you start getting big chunks of them. And I guess we'll double it up while we're at it. <laughs> I guess we'll do it, man. All right, poison, Azra, we'll get your experience over here, and that's gonna clean it up for the win for us. Actually, a pretty quick, uh, pretty quick level right here. It's sad. An old wizard turned support. Oh, yeah, that is sad, isn't it? Your life kind of sucks, doesn't it, bro? You should just give up on life over there. Just give up and uh, let me put you in a shield. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to take you over, dude. We up, 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 you're collapsing. Kablamo, for some reason, it exploded. I don't know why, but it, it did. Must have been some TNT underneath there or something. I don't know. Maybe we could start bargaining. No, I don't, I don't think so. I think we're just going to put you in this box over here and never let you see the live day again. Um, yeah, just put you in a dungeon forever. We'll give you some... I'll let you eat my throw-up if you want to. Ew. Whoa. Oh, that's terrible, Chris. I know. I know. I'm evil. <gasps> the Orc Shaman! Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, so we got some upgrade points, but I can't spend them. Can't spend them yet, man. Not if we want to get the Pit Boss. The six points. I could maneuver around a little bit. A couple uh, upgrades over here if I really didn't want to go for the... Uh, uh, the heroes level up faster, or the this thing of a bob. I, I could probably do it, but 
I don't know. What is this? Cooldowns reduced. No, that's pretty good. I mean, I'd have to stay away from probably just this. I could. I don't know. I don't know. We're just gonna. We're just gonna wait. All right. I'm. I'm okay with that. We're gonna wait for the pit ball pit load in the next next level over here. But we do have this new tower over here. This is the orc. Shaman, bending nature to the will. These shamans wield the raw power of the elements as weapons. Their attacks can be as unstable as they can be fulminating. Oh my god. Alright, looks scary as crap though. That's all I gotta say, man. Uh, anyways, um, that's all I have for you guys today. But if you enjoyed, I'd appreciate a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't. And of course, have a super duper delicious day.